Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, I wanted to try to talk to you about um, some maintenance that I've done. Uh, recently I went in for a coolant flush and fill, okay? Because I don't know if the previous owner ever changed the coolant. I think he might have, but you know, at 155,370 miles or whatever the hell, I went in and I asked my trusted mechanic to please flush the system and put a new coolant. I come back and he, you know, everything's ready, everything's tip top squared away. And I ask him, what coolant did you put in by the way? Because I forgot to ask earlier. He was like, oh, I put in Dex, long life. And I'm not going to lie, I raised my eyebrow a little bit. Dex, long life? I heard horror stories about Dex cool, see? Apparently, if Dexcool gets air contamination or an air leak, it will gel up. Apparently, if Dexcool mixes with ethylene glycol, the green, the green stuff or whatever the hell, it gels up. But I, I you know, I, I went into the Auto Parts website and I just checked Dexcool Long Life and most of the stuff it spits out is Chrysler MS12106 or whatever the fuck, certified. So it is the coolant for the car, basically. I mean, not exactly. The Chrysler has like Mopar with Hoat or whatever the fuck kind of coolant. But if it's MS12 performance and specification certified or whatever, it can't be bad. So, you know. At some point, I think this car had the wrong coolant in its life. The coolant I saw in the overflow reservoir was brown. Okay, that means... That means it might have been like, uh... The original stuff from the dealership mixed in with like Presto and green shit for all I know. So I don't know. I like, but there was no harm done. So on the internet, you will hear a lot of horror stories about Dex Cool gelling up and about the green stuff killing Volkswagens. Okay, but I think, me personally, your top priority should be to use the certified coolant. But if you can't. For the most part, coolant is coolant, okay? Um, so long as you treat it as regular coolant, where you probably would change it in 60,000 miles or two years. And so long as the old stuff has been flushed, then there's nothing to react with, you know? A lot of people complain that GM's Dex Cool, there was a lawsuit for Dex Cool, by the way, uh, saying that engines were destroyed after like 25,000 miles of Dex Cool. But my Yukon has deck school in it, and it's perfectly fine. It's got 150 something thousand miles on it. The, pro the problem was, see, people were suing GM over the deck school, but really, there where the deck school failed was in the cars that had plastic like gaskets or, or piping or whatever the hell. It ate through the plastic. Really, they should be suing GM for using the plastic in there, not the decks. Nevertheless, change your coolant every once in a while. I'm changing my, even though I have Dex Long Life with some additive for rust proofing or whatever the hell, I'm changing mine at 60,000 miles or 220,000 miles on the odometer, I'm going to get another flush. Okay. It's 120 bucks. Normally I do this type of stuff myself, but I just don't have the equipment. There's not much equipment you need, but the fact is that I don't have stuff to hold the old stuff in as I'm flushing it. And I'm not about to dump like five gallons of water and coolant into the drains, you know. It's just not what I'm about. So I just take it to the mech and have them do a flush. 120 bucks, and it's good for fucking probably till the end of this car's life. I'm, of course, I'm hoping this car lives forever, but I'm guesstimating this car will start to become a pain in the ass at around 250,000 miles. And currently, I'm at 155,396 miles. So yeah, I've done some... Oh shit, nice block. So I've done some preventative maintenance, coolant, and I'm a little concerned, but then I feel comforted by the fact that it was probably Chrysler certified, so, so yeah, you know, now when the spring and summer roll along, I'm going to have that nice boil over slash uh, fucking heat protection with anti-rust stuff, and hopefully it'll be okay. You know, on the, on the internet, I read a lot of stuff. They say 
You could use any coolant so long as the system has been flushed. And some people say never use decks. Some people say only use decks. So just use what the car is certified for. But it, for whatever reason, some shit goes wrong or weird. Not a big deal. You know. That's the way I see it. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys, or, or, or how I'm feeling rather, about my new cool and stuff. And it's like, you know, it's kind of scary, but it's probably what it should be, so I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.